indicate the extent of the reaction and the magnitude of the equilibrium constant Kc. This is the Harper process, you should know this by now. And Kc is the products raised to the power of the coefficient divided by the reactants raised to the power of their coefficients. And let's say Kc in this case is, I don't know, a thousand. So a thousand's a big number. And bigger than bigger than one is how it's put in the syllabus. So that means there's lots of ammonia. So essentially the products are heavily favoured. Lots and lots of products at equilibrium, hardly any reactants. And so to quote the syllabus, almost to completion. Well, I'm not sure what that means. It's equilibrium. It never reaches completion. But that's in the syllabus. All righty. And let's look at the opposite. Let's say that my Kc is 1 over 1,000. So that means that there's loads and loads of reactants. Less than less than 1. So the reactants are favoured in this case. And the reaction hardly proceeds. Now, don't think that that means that the forward and reverse reaction rates are different. No, no, it's equilibrium. The forward and reverse reaction rates are the same. Don't fall for that trap. 